Hi Stampers, this is Amy Whalen. Thanks for joining me today at amysinklings.com. Today I wanted to show you how to use the ta scallop tag topper punch to create this cute little treat to hold one of the lint chocolate eggs. So come join me. We need to start with two pieces of real red cardstock. This one measures three by three inches and I'm going to score it at half an inch on all four sides. This one measures nine and an eighth by two and a quarter inches and I'm going to score three and a half inches on both sides. So let me get our scoring plate out and I'll do that real quickly. All right, so again, this is going to be half inch on all four sides. This piece is going to be the base that has a circle cut out that'll actually nest that little egg. <laughs> okay, this one we're going to score, I'm going to score at three and a half inches from both sides. Okay. All right, so let me put this away. Let's go ahead and get the construction of the base done. I'm going to go ahead and burnish all four of the score lines. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I'm going to snip up to that score line. And I'm going to actually angle these two. These are going to be flaps that will create a raised platform with a circle in the middle for that egg to sit in. Okay. Now I need to punch a hole in the center of this. The best way I know how to do that to make it centered is to take my punch. I'm using one of the old one and one quarter inch circle punches. I'm going to cut it out a white first. Then I'm going to take some adhesive and I'm going to glue that into the center of this and I'm going to use that as my guide to make sure that where I'm punching is centered. Alright, so let's take my punch out again. I'm going to fold one of these flaps up. It'll end up getting slightly cut by the punch but it's going to be hidden and it'll be fine. So we'll slip that through. Just like that. See that little part came out but we won't see that later. So let's go ahead and apply some adhesive again. And we'll go ahead and make that base. See now the egg can sit right in the middle of it. Alright, so let's go ahead and burnish these score lines. And then I'm going to take out the scallop tag topper punch. And if you're familiar with my blog, you've seen me do this before. This is two inches wide, but even though this is two and a quarter inches, I can still get it into the punch by just kind of forcing it through like that. And before I'm going to punch, I'll just make sure it's pretty much equal distance on both sides, and that pretty much is. So I'm going to punch, and I'll do that on the other side as well. All right, because it was a little bit wider than two inches, I do have these little extra pieces, but they're real easy to just snip off. Okay, all right. So, let's see. Let's do a little bit of stamping. I'm gonna take out some Whisper White cardstock, and I'm going to use the heart image from Going Global, and I'll stamp that with some real red ink. And I'm going to punch that out with our heart punch. And while I'm punching, 
Let's go ahead and punch some of these smaller ones. This is some pink pirouette. I'm going to need three of these. Okay. And then, this is some of our lovely Blushing Bride Glimmer Paper that's in our new Occasions catalog. <laughs> there we go. And it's absolutely stunning. I'm going to go ahead and punch two of those. And then we should be able to start assembling everything. Okay. All right. So let's do the front first. I'm going to use a Stampin' Dimensional to pop up the big heart. And it's pretty much in the center. Pop that up. And then I'm going to use a little bit of glue. That's okay if it hangs over a little bit. And I'll put this one at the bottom. And then I'm going to take another Stampin' Dimensional, but this time I'm going to snip it. I just want two little pieces from the edge. For the beautiful sparkly ones. And that's the front. So let's go ahead and start putting this together. This is going to go in there. And what I found is easiest to do is to take some fast fuse right here in the center. And I'm actually going to rest the egg on it to hold the platform in place. Okay just like that. So the egg is actually going to hold it in place as well as when I close it. So let's put this all together. I have some of our organdy ribbon and I'm going to loop this through. I seem to be all thumbs tonight. Like this. Alright, I'm going to use a little clip to hold that in place because then I'm going to take a piece of white baker's twine and this is around seven inches and I'm going to tie a bow. Just like I teach my kindergartners. So I have the two bunny ears, I'm going to make a bow that way. Sometimes I just feel that it, the, the bow itself lies flatter, prettier. That might be an exception. <laughs> <laughs> but you get the idea. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm not going to fiddle with this too long, but I do want to try to make them about the same size. There we go. So let's get our ribbon scissors out. Okay, let's trim that, trim that. And we are done. Isn't that nice? Adorable. I love this. Anybody on your Valentine list would love to receive such a sweet little treat. So thank you so much for joining me today at Amy's Inklings. If you don't have a consultant, please reach out to me at amysinklings at gmail.com. I'd love to send you some of our catalogs, especially our celebration catalogs. I want you to earn some free merchandise during this incredible promotion. So thanks again for coming by Amy's Inklings. I hope you come again soon. Bye-bye.